Hello everyone. Now we will be talking about gram negative cocci. Okay. So first two gram negative cocci will be talking is meaning jo cocci and gono cocci. I guess you have heard their names before. Okay. So meningo cocci causes neisseria meningitidae. This and gonococci causes neisseria gonorrhea. Okay. Now we learn the difference between meningo cocci and meningo cocci and gonococci. Okay. Let's see. First thing is the meningo cocci. You write down an M. Okay. And you draw like this and like this so what is this this is looking like a lens right so meningococci is lens shaped okay and then you draw a circle around this m so meningococci is capsulated okay and gonococci you write g okay ek ulta g so it is looking like kidney so it is kidney shape it and it is gono no means no capsule okay samaj me aya i hope so you have, you would have understood there is nothing difficult to understand here so next now meningococci has m and g so meningococci ferments manitol Manitol as well as glucose. Gonococci has only G, so it ferments only glucose. Okay. So we are done with the difference between meningococci and gonococci. Next, what we will do, we will learn about the virulence factors so what are the virulence factors of meningococci okay uh, now we'll start with meningococci so what is the virulence factors of meningococci number one is capsular polysaccharide saccharide okay number two 2 is IgA1 protease. Number 3 is lipo oligosaccharide. Number 4 is outer membrane protein, also known as OMP. Number 5 is pili. Okay, so this you have to just remember, you have to mug up nothing to understand my dear friends here just need to mug it up okay so virulence factors kya kya hai capsular polysaccharide iga protease lipo oligosaccharide outer membrane protein and pili okay now next kya bolte hai on the basis of polysaccharide on the basis of uh, meningococ on the basis of capsular polysaccharide this meningococci has capsule right capsule hai ki nahi this is m this is lens shaped and it has a outer covering so capsulated so on the basis of this it is divided into 13 serotypes okay a b c y w e are the most important serotypes sero groups and abc are the most infective sero groups okay done now let's go to the clinical features aapko meningitis meningitis mein kya clinical features milega first thing is that you will get pyogenic meningitis matlab pyogenic matlab 
there is past formation number two is a dreadful condition which is known as waterhouse Fredrickson son syndrome that is bilateral adrenal डैमेज दोनों तरफ का एड्रिनल डैमेज हो जाता है उसको वाटर हाउस फ्रेडरिक्सन सिंड्रोम कहते हैं ठीक है एंड नंबर थ्री इज पोस्ट मेनिंजो कोकल कोकल आर्थराइटिस दिस आर द्री थ्री देर आर अदर्स ऑल्सो बट दिस आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बायोजेनिक मेनिंजाइटिस ड्रेडफुल कंडीशन नोन एज वाटर हाउस फ्रेडरिक्सन सिंड्रोम ये याद रखना है ठीक है You remember other things or not, but you remember this one. Waterhouse Fredrickson syndrome, C W M meningococci and W they are same है ना M W उल्टा है तो you remember it like that meningococci, Waterhouse Fredrickson ठीक है? Now let's go to the uh, diagnosis. Diagnosis क्या करेंगे हम? We will take CSF क्योंकि meninges involved है, we told that it involves nasopharynx or nasopharyngeal swab we will take, ठीक है? These are the two things we will take for diagnosis. फिर this CSF will be sent to the biochem lab, micro lab and patho lab, ठीक है? Biochem lab में क्या देखेंगे? Sugar और protein देखेंगे, ठीक है? And micro lab में it is क्या मिलेगा plant shape at ठीक है patho lab cytology करेंगे तो biochem lab में क्या मिलेगा it ferments mannitol and क्या है ferments mannitol and glucose ठीक है so these are the diagnosis now other than this there is a test by the name of uh, liquid oxidase test okay in this one percent oxidase solution is is uh, um, given to the Neisseria colonies which after that turn into deep purple color okay and other than that, there is a paper strip method. This is liquid oxidase paper strip method, which is known as COVAX method. Okay, COVAX method. Okay, so we are done with this. Then next we'll learn how we culture culture of Meningo cocci. Okay, how do we culture meningo cocci? We culture it in modified Thayer Martin media. Media again, you remember M for M, M for meningo cocci, M for modified Thayer Martin media. M, M, M. You remember this M. Everything is M in meningococci. Okay. Now let's look at the treatment part. So drug of choice is uh, we give IV penicillin G. Okay. Penicillin G if patient is allergic. Then we give ampicillin or ceftriaxone. Okay. For carriers, we give uh, very important. Uh, this is ciprofloxacin, and for established cases, for established cases, we give third generation cephalosporin. So this is to be remembered. See, I cannot help how to remember this. You remember C for C carrier. Ciprofloxacin, okay? Established case, case also third generation. C, 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 C. Everything is related to C. How you remember is up to you, okay? For carrier, ciprofloxacin. And then for established case, we give third generation. 
then what we do in this case we also get uh, second line for carrier second line drug for carrier is also rifampicin is used okay so we are done with meningococci let let's do a rapid revision of the meningococci i hope you understood the class okay so we'll do a rapid revision so what we were talking neseria neseria mein kya kya aata hai neseria meningitis and neseria gonorrhea okay so meningitis causes meningitis meningitis and gonorrhea causes gonococcal infection that is genital infection so meningitis has both m and g in it so it ferments both mannitol and glucose whereas gonorrhea has only g in it so it ferments only glucose Menin, uh, menin, meningococci is present in nasopharynx whereas uh, gonococci is predominant in genital part okay then we learnt about the shape ab uh, m ko lens ke jaise bana do to neseria meningitis is lens shaped and gonorrhea kidney shaped g ko kidney jaise bana do theek hai m ke bahar mein capsule draw kar do to it is capsulated and gonorrhea no is there in gonorrhea so it's non capsulated theek hai what are the virulence factors uh, capsular polysaccharide aapka then outer membrane protein uh, what i can remember iga1 protease lipopolysaccharide and pili theek hai now clinical features clinical features mein kya hota hai pyogenic meningitis then a dreadful condition known as waterhouse prediction syndrome that is bilateral adrenal hemorrhage and post meningococcal arthritis theek hai ab now diagnosis diagnosis ke liye kya lete hain we take csf and the nasopharyngeal swab csf is sent to biochemical uh, testing microbiological lab and pathological testing biochemical lab mein kya milta hai we test for sugar and proteins so what we get it ferments sugar and uh, it ferments mannitol and glucose theek hai and in uh, microbiological what we get lens shaped theek hai we also do a liquid oxidase test which is absolute now we add 1% oxidase solution uh, which turn neseria colonies into deep purple we also do a paper strip method that is known as covax method theek hai so now diagnosis we are done then wh where does we culture uh, meningococci so m for m modified thayer martin medium to so m m m modified m ek hai martin m ek hai medium ek m hai theek hai modified thayer martin medium theek hai and then treatment we give iv penicillin g if a patient is allergic we give ampicillin and ceftriaxone for carrier we give ciprofloxacin i told you cc and then again for established cases we give uh, third generation cephalosporins so for um, second line carriers we give rifampicin i hope you understood the class it is little more about mugging up aapko yaad karna bahut important hai you need to remember a lot and you need to study a lot i hope you i hope you like the class if you have liked please do share it to your friends please subscribe to our channel and for more information about our courses please drop in a message or whatsapp me at 8638716926 okay you can also check our website dr pranab academy dot in p r o n o b okay this is o ha huh? not a o okay so thank you very much see you in the next class